Do you consider this to listen to him for hours? Whether he's singing a little bit of smut or somebody else's song, you know, he's so engaging that you can't help but sit there and enjoy his performance. His contribution to Calypso is going to be missing. Both here in Canada and in Trinidad. You're very popular here, you're very popular in Trinidad. And Santa is one of those persons, he's really down to earth. You know, he's no big set of formality. He would come out in a crowd, talk, and next thing you know, snap your fingers and he starts singing a song. Yeah. My impression of Santa is one of those persons, he thought of a bridge gap between the young and the old. When you come in Santa's presence, you can't help but enjoy what he has to say, what his sounds. Very engaging, very inspiring, and once you leave Santa, his memory of his, his presentation to you, his, his songs that he sings, is catchy. It engages you that you remember it for a long time. And it's, it's very sad that um, he had to go the way he did. You know, we, um, we have lost a Calypsonian that he had a lot more to offer. And it's very sad that um, his life was taken away in the circumstances, you know, that happened. And my well wishes go to his family. And I trust that um, that we won't forget about Sandra. We take this opportunity to remember him. I don't. Know, I did a bit of a video of um, Sandra during one of the um, if it's here, I don't know if anybody got an opportunity to see it yet. No. Okay, I'll put it on. But it will give you, inspire you, and bring you back to the memory of what Sandra was. So thank you. I'm glad I had the opportunity to say a few words and uh, 